So one is actually going to be like with bridal like engagement looks. Mm. I'm just really excited right now. Hi guys, welcome to the London Diaries. I'm starting this vlog in a hotel. We've just checked in to the Adria, which is one of our favorite hotels in London. I've left the house after four days of being just in the house because I've been so ill. I've got like the flu. I had a really sore throat, like really dry cough. My body was just aching. So I um, literally didn't do anything for the past three or four days which has meant that I've got a backlog of work that I need to do. I'm still not feeling like 100%, but we need to get work done. So I've just pulled myself together. Let's do a quick outfit of the day. I just wanted to wear something that was really cozy and would keep me warm because when I'm ill, I just want to be comfortable and warm. So this is my pretty lavish uh, knit jumper. Underneath that, I've just got one of my Loewe tank tops. And then for pants, I've got my Cezanne white knit pants with my black Elias May boots and then the star of the show is of course the Totem Sherling jacket. She is stunning. I'll give you a quick room tour. This is actually the smallest room we've ever stayed in for the Adria because normally we book the really big rooms because we need that big space but for this campaign we just needed a bathroom so and this bathroom's really nice so we didn't need to get a massive room so I'll quickly show you the room. Hi Tru, say hi to the camera. Hello guys, I'm the assistant for today. <laughs> for today, just today. Yeah, just today. <laughs> okay, let's do a room tour. So, when you walk into the room, this is the room. So it's a small room. Um, you've got this little desk area. It's a very small desk area. Normally you have a massive desk, True. That's a desk area. And then the bed, the bed is big. I feel like this is a king size bed. Yeah, and then you have the little tea area here, the TV here, and the room is called tea. So they've got this little tea time picture. Very cute. I like how they kind of try and keep things to the theme of the room. And all the rooms have different names. The details of the hotel are really nice, like the coving on the wall. This is the bathroom and I love their bathrooms. It's why we always book this for like any skincare campaigns because the marbling is just stunning. So this is the sink area the mirror so pretty and then this is the bathtub i actually could really do with a bath so i'm gonna quickly get changed and we're gonna film this campaign oh actually you know before i get changed i want to actually open my case if i package came just before we left so i thought i'd bring it with me because you guys look me and true are case defy fans like we only have ever really used case defy covers for our phones because they're the most protective ones. I always have a mirror phone case because for me, especially when I'm shooting, I always like to look at myself or do like a lip touch up. It's so useful whenever I'm out and someone's like, does anyone have a mirror? I have my phone. And we recently got a new phone. I got the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Is that what we have? Yeah, the Pro yeah. Max that one. We got the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, and as soon as we got the phone case, the guy at the shop tried to like sell us one and we're like, no, it's fine, we're gonna order our own. And we literally ordered case to fire cases that same day. And then after, so we obviously got the same phone cases. True, True saw how useful it was to have a mirror one, so he also got a mirror one. Um, and then afterwards, case if I reached out to do a sponsorship with us, um, which is really exciting and it was really about time because honestly, guys, case if I 
we've you guys have seen from our vlogs and like my phone case is really the only phone case we use so protective so i'm really excited to be working with case defy on this portion of the video and i'm going to unbox what we picked out and it's going to be something also that you guys always ask me let me show you true can you hold this for me here like that i also have a discount code which is very exciting i'm going to put the discount code on screen i think it's about 15 percent and if you don't know about caseify they are the world's most popular tech accessory brand and they're also known for doing a lot of like global collaborations they make really cool phone cases accessories i feel like most people do know caseify but if you don't that's what they are their phone cases are super protective the one that i have as i said is the mirror one and i've got a new mirror one which is a customized one so you can actually customize your phone cases so let me show you oh it comes so nicely packaged so guys there's a mirror phone case look there's the true reflection holding the camera i don't have a tripod i've got a new one of this which is actually great because my mum and my sisters always ask for these phone cases so i can actually just give them one and then i have one that is customized with my name on it so you can actually customize it to whatever you want so my one i put nuri i'm gonna read it off here because I'm not going to remember what this one is but they use electroplate coated polycarbonate structures so it allows it to act like a mirror without the glass hazard and as I said this is perfect when I do my makeup touch-ups especially after eating a meal when I want to check if there's anything in my teeth I can do a quick teeth check they're also built with a strong magnet which means they are mag safe and the thing I love about this most is that they actually keep your phone safe so they have a drop test of about 4.9 feet and when you drop the phone it's still intact protects your phone which is amazing they also have the raised bezels which protects your phone screen and also your cameras so it provides that full protection they also use 50 percent recycled materials to make their phone cases and they've also sent me i actually picked this out so i love having phone accessories i've got two things to show you guys so this first of all this phone charm you guys have already seen i had it already on my old phone and actually I, the reason i don't have it on this phone is because i gave my old phone to my sister and she asked to keep the charm with it because she loves it and i was like okay you know what i'm gonna get another one from case to buy you can have that one but now i've got it back and i realized how much i actually needed this every time i post a mirror selfie with my phone you'd always see this and i would always get so many dms comments asking where this strap is from it is the cutest accessory and it is so handy so if you've got lots of things in your hand it just kind of hangs off your hand it's so cute for taking selfies it's just this really super cute accessory and again this can be customized so you can actually put your initials on it i also picked out this thing which is new to me it's their snake chain phone strap so this is something new that i haven't had before but it's going to be the most handiest thing ever especially for our upcoming trip where a lot of the times i don't really want to bring a bag i kind of want to be hands free but obviously i need my phone this is the perfect accessory so you just attach it to the bottom it comes with this attachment also i've added my nuri mirror phone case on and it just means you can wear it cross body around your neck cross body and it's just basically always with you attached super safe and just the perfect kind of hands free Thing to have like you can still use your phone with this on it's just really hassle hand free it's a very cute accessory you can get it in another color you can get it in gold silver so i'm going to link all of these things that i spoke about down below and i'm also going to put my discount code you can get 15 percent off anything from case to fight so yeah i'm actually gonna attach this one on right now because i've missed having this strap so much and then i think we're gonna get on with filming our campaign and then have a chill night yeah I can see True's knackered. Also, do they know you wear glasses? Wait, sit on my lap. Come yeah, remember that one vlog we went to get it together? And then you stopped wearing it? Yeah, because I, I lost it for a while, but it was actually in the car, and then I found it again, and it's really helped, like, take the strain and tension off my eyes. Yeah. Because I feel like my eyes were tired all the time, but now it's fine. Like, yeah. I can look at things. Especially when you're on the screen all the time, your mm -hmm. eyes do feel tired. Yeah, I want to get a laser because it's such an inconvenience to not be able to see stuff yeah trust me um, i know all about it but yeah it's definitely caused by my screen time my yeah. eyesight issue my eyes have gone worse as well i've got i've booked in for another eye appointment because guys i haven't had an eye test for about six years so i've had the same prescription for six years and i know my eyes have gone worse because now when I wear, I wear contacts but when i have my glasses or even when my contacts on i find myself squinting so yeah we definitely need to Keep an eye on that, and I'm pretty sure you should get your eye tested every six months. Yeah, you should. 
yeah so this is your reminder if you wear glasses and you haven't you had your eyes tested go get it tested so guys we're halfway through filming this campaign so it's for cult beauty so it's supposed to be like taking time out for yourself which is actually probably very much needed after being ill and feeling really gross for so long. And I've always been really curious about this face mask. I've always wanted to try it because it looks so interesting. So I'm warning you, jump scare. <laughs> so it's actually really cool. So how you use it is it comes with this hyaluronic acid in this kind of packet. So you squeeze all of that out apply it to your face and then you apply this which is this really cooling face mask it feels really nice on the skin and to be fair like my skin has been suffering because i've just been in bed dehydrated so i feel like this is very much needed so i'm just going to leave this on for the next hour and we're going to order some food now and then after that i'm going to continue the rest of this campaign and the rest of it is going to be like body care so i got these bath salts from Verden. I also picked up this brush because I actually really want to get into dry body brushing. I've heard there's so many benefits. It's really good for like lymphatic drainage, also really good for fighting cellulite. It's a really good practice. Yeah, so this is really good for dry brushing. So you dry brush your body with it. So I'm actually really excited to start using this. So this is me currently gonna have a food break and then I'm gonna run a bath and film the next part of this campaign. True, do you know what you wanna get to eat? So many options, I, I don't know what to pick. I really want sushi, what do you think? What sushi places do they have? So guys, we just wrapped up the shoot. Um, we're still waiting for the food to come. My skin looks hydrating. Can I just say also, if you have never tried this, you need to try it because this body butter literally gives your skin, look at that glow. Can you see that glow guys? That is from that body butter. It is unreal. It's so nice. Let me show you what the consistency is like. Can you see it's like, it's like a buttery consistency and I'm going to blend it into true to demo because <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. It's so... Look at that. Wow. Mm, that's good. Look, compare it to your other hand. Before, before and after. I will link all of these down below anyway if you're interested. And then my face, look how good it looks. So I took this face mask off kept it on for like almost an hour and then i just put on my cream of the night this is the youth bomb beauty pie youth bomb this cream this cream gives this kind of glow like my skin it just looks so glowy and i think i do have a discount code on beauty pie if you want to purchase i've mentioned it in my last vlog if my discount code is still running i'll put that in the description box but if you're interested in the beauty pie i have a discount code for that but yeah this is almost like a little self-care vlog but these are some products that i'm really enjoying i also just had a bath as part of the whole campaign which was really nice actually but i haven't had those little grains are from the body scrub by the way oh the food's here also we decided to get wings in the end true and, decided and bubble tea. oh they're both on the way oh bubble tea and the wings so guys true can you do a unboxing of what you picked out true's sure. very hungry because he ordered a lot so i went a little bit overboard We've got Wingstop. No, it's actually just down the road. Is it? Yeah, like oh. two, two minute walk. No way. Oh. What? What? Where are the fries? The boneless chicken pieces. These What's are the, the tenders. Okay, tenders. Oh, do you think that? Oh, oh they forgot, forgot the chips. The, okay. The chips. You can ask them. You can put on your app. But yeah, that's really annoying. I feel like delivery always gets something wrong. Hello guys, it is the next day. We are back from the hotel. We've actually been back for a while now. We got back home, had to edit all the content we shot yesterday to send to the brands today. Basically, I just thought it'd be a good time to pick the camera up now because I just got really excited delivery. I am working on a campaign with Jimmy Choo and I'm shooting two campaigns for them. At the start of the year, I have a book and in my book, at the back of the book, I write down a list of brands who I'd love to work with and Jimmy Choo has been on my list of brands I'd love to work with for two years and I've only been doing this for like two and a half years. So basically, ever since I started doing social media, they've been a dream brand of mine to work with. This is so exciting. It's my first campaign with them. I did one campaign with their fragrance, but this is the first campaign with shoes so it's a different kind of whole different team different branch doing fashion versus fragrance so it's for their bridal campaign with shoes so let me show you the shoes i got here is the lineup guys so i'm actually doing so as i said i'm doing two campaigns so one is actually going to be like with bridal like engagement looks and then the other one is going to be wait i just realized they didn't send me a pair of shoes these ones i'm going to use for 
the bridal look obviously and then these two that's supposed to be another pair i need to message actually are going to be for the wedding guest looks so that's what i'm doing one wedding guest look video and one bridal look video but that's really throwing me off the missing shoe i can't keep these these are just on loan and it's so sad because i love them so much like i'm looking at these like these are not mine but this is just the reality of the job and i thought it was just really exciting and i thought i'd show you guys because I have basically ordered some looks from Netta Porter for the bridal look. So I'm going to try them on with the shoes. And I thought I'd just bring you guys along and show you some like wedding looks. This is very exciting. These are not actually looks that I'm going to wear. But these are looks that I would potentially wear. But I ordered them specifically so I could shoot this campaign. So I'm going to try them on and then show you guys in the mirror. And you can see some Jimmy Choo wedding look. I'm so excited. Also, this is what I was wearing yesterday very bridal on theme this room is also all white so it looks very bridely but yeah okay guys so this is the first dress that i tried on this is from david coma it's this feather dress it's like i got what is the word it's asymmetric so it's like high up here then it goes longer as you go down and it's got this high neck i have my assistant here eliza rose she just come back from school and yeah. thought she'd help me day in the life so yeah this is the first dress Need to decide what shoes to wear with this. This is a really nice dress for like a fun engagement party. This is giving you guys some inspo. If you guys are engaged or you want to wear a white dress. This is so beautiful. The feathers on this are like really good quality feathers that you can just see. The feathers look insane. Okay. Out of these three, because these are the wedding shoes. Which one? I'm thinking maybe... Could you help me, Eliza Rose? Yeah. And do, do, do you know how to do the buckles? Yeah. Because I think the pearls I was going to save for the mini dress. Okay. We could do this. Or let me put on... Could you help just grab that, the Easy. bow one? Yeah. Having little sisters is just like having full-time assistants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I think the... This one, right? Because yeah, the bow is just too... It clashes with... Yeah, I think these ones. Okay, should we do the... F Let's put the um, the other one of this, then we can fully confirm. Wow, even just in the mirror, I need to take a picture because this looks so good. <laughs> Guys, this is my dream come true right now. Like, I'm working with Jimmy Choo. Look at these shoes. I'm just really excited right now. Okay, guys, so these are the shoes. How gorgeous are these? Look at the back detail. Oh, I think they're a bit big. Oh, no, we haven't clasped it up properly because we just... But you can see from the back... So if we clasp it properly, can you see it? Just like, it's like foot jewelry. It is so beautiful. <gasps> okay, so this is one of the clutches that they sent. This actually goes really well, this clutch. I was thinking no clutch, but it actually really goes nicely with the dress because it matches the color of the feathers. Okay, this is look one sorted. I just don't want to take these shoes off, guys. This is so exciting. Look how beautiful these shoes are. Okay, my legs need some cream, so please ignore that um but yeah okay next outfit okay guys so this is the next dress i thought i would pick out varying lengths of dresses as well because obviously the campaign's about the shoes but i wanted to give variety this is so cute this is from i think this is alex perry the material on this is stunning it's like this ivory satin so so cute i was just saying to my sisters this feels like a little bridal fitting in itself because it's actually the first time i've ordered bridal-esque outfit and i'm actually getting really excited now <laughs> okay for this one assistant please may you help yes. me eliza rose i'm in your presence <laughs> okay so let's put one pearl one on okay these bow ones i really like okay. a lot more than i thought i would oh okay oh do you know what this kind of looks cool <laughs> but i don't think i can do that for the brand but look guys oh which one okay let me show you the full outfit then you guys can understand okay here's the full outfit guys which shoe do we go for the bow so the other bow shoe actually has the other bow at the back so it's like that the bows at the back um and then the pearls okay eliza rose what are you saying oh okay i like them a lot i like them both yeah i think this if you put the bow what both bows it'll look a bit like your little princess dolls yeah like your little teapot yeah i like the pearl ones a lot though 
it's a tough choice. What do you think? I think I think we'll know when I try on the last dress because I think with this dress, both of them go. Yeah. I was so sure on the pearls until you tried on the bows. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I'm really surprised by these shoes. I love them so much. But what I'm thinking is both shoes go with this dress. But I think the uh, the last dress I'm going to try on, both of them might. I don't think both of them will go with it. So there's going to be one. So at least we know for this dress I can go with either one. How? Sorry, Jimmy Choo are the best wedding shoes. If you need a wedding shoe, this is not, not an ad. I'm doing this for a TikTok and Instagram. But honestly, these are just, I'm getting, it's getting me so excited. Oh, I think actually, yeah. uh, I quite like the bow ones because they were, okay. I think I like the bow I think the bow is good with this length of dress because there's so much going on with the bow. You want to have kind of the rest of the leg empty. Let's try the other dress on. I don't want to take this dress off, it's so, so cute. Okay guys, so this is the next dress. This is from Alex Perry. So it's got this really strong shoulder. I need to wear shapewear underneath because you can see my belly button and I don't like when you can see your belly button through dresses. It's got these really strong shoulders and it's this cape-like effect. And this is a midi style dress, which actually now thinking about it, I'll try on the pearl and the bow, but I actually think the pearl's probably for this one. Yeah. Because I think the bow might be a bit... um. Yeah. Because you won't get to see the bow that much. You won't get to... I love having a cape though. This makes you feel so cool. And then also, can we get the pearl... The little pearl clutch yeah. up? I love this clutch, guys. It's a small but mighty clutch. Look how beautiful it is. What are we thinking? I think it has to be the pearl. The pearl. Do you think? Okay, let's discuss. Team. Okay. I think for this one, pearl, because I think you don't get to acknowledge the bow... Yeah, because the shoulders. So I think. Oh, that's a good point, Eliza. Is I think I also think the bow looks better with the other. Pants. The short dress. Yeah. yeah, I think it highlights the bow more. This is it with the pearls on, Eliza. Rose, are you still sticking by your? Yeah, definitely. But I have to say something. Yeah. This is all because of your lovely fans here. Because this would have <laughs> never happened if they haven't. Yeah, I was actually going to say that, guys. This would never happen if it wasn't for your guys' support. All of this is possible because of you guys. And that is so right, Eliza. Thank you. <laughs> and I was actually going to say that when I was talking about being really grateful for having this. So, yeah, I want to just say thank you, guys, for all your support. Because, honestly, this wouldn't be possible without your support. And all the work that I do, and I appreciate it so much. I get to work with some amazing dream brands. And, yeah, this is... Okay, I think we're going to go pearls with this one, right? Yep. Definitely. Cool. So next now, now I've done the bridal looks. I'm going to try on my wedding guest looks. So update guys. This looks so funny with me wearing this full look with no makeup and my hair like this. But anyway, I texted my manager and she's just messaged Jimmy Choo and they're going to send me the other pair of shoes that I asked for, which is great. So they're going to send those and then I can create the three looks for the wedding guest. But I'm so excited. This has honestly got me feeling so excited for the wedding. But also, I wanted to have a little wedding chat. I'll probably have that afterwards, but talk. I'll have this wedding chat afterwards when I'm sitting down. But yeah, I'm so excited. You know what? I think I should move the mirror against the window. Okay, guys. Oh, that is so much better. I've just switched the mirror around. I said it's so much better, but the lighting's not even... Just needs time to adjust. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've just switched the mirror around so you can actually see... A lot better now but this is one of the wedding guest dress looks this is a dress from christopher esper this is the same dress that i have in that blue um and i've picked it up in this really gorgeous like emerald green color and actually i planned on wearing this dress with the gold shoes that they haven't sent yet so obviously i plan to wear with the gold heels they're not here yet but i was just trying on other shoes i don't think that they go with these okay so this is the next dress that i picked up as part of the wedding guest looks it's a jacquemus dress I think you guys have probably seen me in this dress before. I put these shoes on with it, but I'm not sure. You might try the pearls. I'm not sure if these ones go. Hey guys, I thought I'd just sit down and do the little chatty update bit here because yesterday when I was filming me trying on those dresses for the bridal stuff, I said that I wanted to do like a little talk about wedding stuff. Um, also, I realized this vlog is very kind of choppy um, I think it's just because we've been trying to catch up with all the work that we had to do, obviously because I was ill. Um, so I've just been trying to vlog where I can, but most of my days have been consumed with just catching up with work. So it's been hard to do the usual style of vlogging. So apologies if it is very choppy. But yeah, I thought I would sit down and talk because basically, so yesterday when I was trying on the dresses, trying on the shoes, I was saying how it got me really excited for 
like the wedding stuff but I feel like I have been avoiding wedding stuff and that's because so I'm one of those girls who has been thinking and dreaming of their wedding ever since they were a little girl like my wedding has always been like a big dream of mine and I know there's such a mix of people who like some people who are totally not bothered about their wedding it's not something they think about and then you have the other side of the girls who have only been thinking about their wedding and that's kind of me like my wedding was always something that I was very excited and forward to and then I feel like once I got engaged I was a bit scared because as much as I wanted to get engaged and I want to get married I was like oh my god this is real now like I actually have to start planning for a wedding and I have been putting off planning the wedding for so long now that I'm kind of like I need to actually get started but I think it's because for me in my head it's such a big day and a day that I've been thinking about and now that it's here I'm a bit scared like I'm because I think I want it to be so perfect I have a vision in my head and it needs to be like that and I think that pressure is putting me off of planning it and getting started into it um so yeah I think that's pretty why you guys like I get a lot of questions asking about wedding updates and kind of what the plans are and I actually have no update because I actually haven't started doing anything I've only been to two bridal fittings at half penny because they had invited me and to be honest if they didn't invite me I probably wouldn't have even started that um but it was because they invited me and I thought yeah let me just go in and try some dresses on that's the only dresses dress fitting I've done um and I need to do more dress fittings obviously to know what dress I want and if I found the dress I haven't yet found the dress um and the plan is to get married next summer don't even know if that's gonna happen now I mean it, it, if it wants if I want it to happen next summer I need to start planning right now because things are getting booked up so quick and I think there's this thing of I thought I had so much time and now time is running out um so yeah I just I feel like I've just been procrastinating with, with wedding stuff because I'm a little bit scared <laughs> um I don't know if there's something anyone else has experienced but I think it's because I'm scared because for me it, it's such a big day and I want it to be perfect but yeah I have started looking at venues and now I'm I've hit like this point where I'm like I actually don't know if I want to get married in Italy anymore Italy was always like the place we wanted to get married but now I'm like do we want to get married in Italy where in Italy now like I keep changing my mind and I'm not sure so maybe after our trip we come back from I need to just go to Italy visit some venues and that might give me a, an idea um but yeah I think I'm just a little bit stuck and like, I think that's why I got excited yesterday because yesterday was the first time I started kind of doing bridal things like trying on dresses um the dresses I had on the video were by the way like they're not things that I would actually wear to my wedding they're kind of I'm not using any of those for any of my bridal things I, I just ordered them purely for the campaign but they're obviously the style of dresses that I would want to wear for different events bridal events that is the wedding chat I just want to know if any of you guys have experienced that any of you guys who've been married or getting married like have you gone through this or am I just really weird or putting it off it's, and I'm not putting it off because I don't want to get married like this is something that I've always wanted to do and I'm really excited to but I'm putting it off because I'm really nervous about planning the day and having I don't know what I want but at the same time I know exactly what I want but I'm not sure about it but yeah that's the dilemma I'm going through um but I'm ready now because I've got dressed and stuff because I'm going to an event today later a dinner and tomorrow's gonna be there which I'm really excited about I haven't seen tomorrow last time I thought tomorrow actually was during London Fashion Week, I saw her at a show. Um, but tomorrow is gonna be hosting the dinner, which is gonna be so nice, it's gonna be nice to see her. And the theme is blush and pink. So I'll show you my outfit that I'm gonna wear for that dinner and I'll obviously bring you guys along to the dinner. So I thought I'd do my outfit of the day. I have this Gucci corset on, which I bought two years ago now. Um, this maxi Zara skirt. I'm wearing my lubes, the little slingback lubes. They're very comfortable. Um, and then I've just thrown over my shoulder this black blazer from Arquette so it's going to keep me warm and also um, I like to balance it out like I don't want to be too topless because this top uh, corset is quite booby so I don't want it to be like loads of arms so I'm balancing it out with the blazer and then my bag is the Bottega pouch bag. Yeah. Look who it is! <laughs> I love it. She matches perfectly with the yeah. Oh, very. Okay, where should we go? Uh, it depends. If you want like the whole like the table and everything, then you go stand in the middle. If you want just to start. Like... Um, I want you to pick. Okay. You can decide. <laughs> You're the expert. Uh, let's do one. <laughs> Hi guys, this is. 
Tamara take over. Now it's not Nuri. I forgot how this camera works. So we're in London at once. We're well, not at once. We're at the same place at the same time because we were together in Qatar. Yeah, and, and also I think I saw you at the fashion show that one show. Exactly. So, so I see you quite a bit now, but it's not in focus. What is this thing? That's what I mean. The light is low. Oh wait, is it? Anyway, go all and subscribe to my channel. Go okay, subscribe. She, she needs more subscribers, guys. Please go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. You know, I do this to all of my friends. Like, I love it. Hi, don't subscribe to me. That's it. Shameless self-promotion. You look so good. We're doing an outfit of the day. Yes. Okay. So, Tamara, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a picture of a leather dress in blush. This is a sun around leather blush. And a minimum one. I love it. So, and the. The Cartier necklace. I, like it. I, I love I think it. it would suit you this so is on my wish list. Well, wow. you deserve it. Beautiful Tamara, our co host for this evening. <laughs> we came dressed. For her forever, the new fragrance, Narciso Rodriguez. 